Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, Davis Wade Stadium, where they've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game, as we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Mississippi State about to boot it away as we start the festivities. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Colorado's offense will have the first possession of the game. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring, Woo! son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. Going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. The Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Trying to get to it. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. And the Buffaloes decide to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Slips through the line. And the returner will be brought down. So the Mississippi State Bulldogs offense has its first opportunity of the day. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the deep. They say big time players make big plays in big games. So who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head to head matchup that everybody wants to see? That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After picking up a couple at second and eight, they'll keep it on the ground here, off right tackle, and they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. A third and long coming up here. They'll give it to the back. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. I 
How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Getting some heat. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. You know, as an offense, you just don't get that many great opportunities in games to hit these type of big-time plays. When plays like that present themselves and receivers are open, as a quarterback, you have got to make that throw. Looking to throw at Sanders. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. Throws to the wideout. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Coleman. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. He's got it again. Made a defender miss. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. Mississippi State right back to the line. The run from the shotgun. Discards a man. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Runs first down, and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up and get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Caught in the backfield. It's Coleman. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. That is no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss.
And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. To the ground with the back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Quick strike complete. Got some room in at the goal line. Touchdown, Bucks! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Second down coming up. Leaves it with the back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Man, oh, man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have any. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking downfield, it's shaping. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Pulls it, fired complete. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up.
from the gun. They'll try the middle. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Red pass, it's complete. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. Power football with the run. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. Makes the grab. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. And the Buffaloes line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. So that scoring drive took only six plays and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. The give to the back. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. 
Back to pass. It's shaping. He finds his man. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They move the tight end all over. He'll pull it on the read. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And such an advantage when you got a quarterback that you can design the run game through. Like, it makes it so difficult because instead of handing it off back in the day, Palmer, like you used to do all the time, and stand there, now you get the running back blocking for you, so you're adding an extra blocker in the run game, which makes it really nice on an offense. Yeah, I had way less pressure on it back when I played. It was literally just throw the ball or turn around and hand it off to someone way more athletic than me. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for room, it's Pittman. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. And how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. Mississippi State going up tempo. Movement here from the tight end. They'll give it to him again. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Mississippi State rings the cowbell in the red zone. Fast motion from the offense. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Gets it out fast. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. And he could not get loose on the run. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On the move, it's shaping. He makes a grab. They will score. Touchdown, Mississippi State. There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in a shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops, and they just keep making the plays, and they punch it in for a touchdown? Demoralizing. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
He'll start the return inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. On the move. Nice move to keep running. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. On the ground, it's Hayden. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Makes the grab over the middle. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a new set of downs. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. And he's brought down after a nice game. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. The aerial assault continues. Quickly complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams great offenses. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He makes the connection. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And they will score! Touchdown, Colorado! The field position was bad. The finish was great great way to answer that poor field position poor field position no problem how about it great job by the offense coordinator this offense getting in a good rhythm early even backed up even in a predictable situation great job coming out lining up to add another And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Back to pass. It's Chapin. Fires to the tight end. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Starkville. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Davis Wade Stadium. The Buffaloes will kick it off to start the second half. Looking for blockers. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, if you're a quarterback in that situation, you know there's nowhere to go, so just cut your losses. You're right, absolutely. Slide, don't take the extra punishment. You just give up on the play. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Quick release by the QB. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Great execution on the RPO, and the receiver had some time to find the soft spot in the zone and make himself open for the quarterback and make it a much easier pass. Great job. And the Bulldogs want to crank the tempo. From the gun, the running back has it. Makes the stop at the 49. Give him five yards on the play and a first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. They're going to ride this running back. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. 
Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, running back on the move. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get them flowing one way and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field, did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. you got to find a different way maybe to attack these guys to use their speed against them. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. On third down, going up top. Working that left side now. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Using his legs, it's Booth. Picks up the first down. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Right down the gut of the field. Touchdown, Bucks! Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. This defense is so opportunistic. What a sequence of events. Ball carrier puts the ball on the ground. Defense scoops the scores. Wow. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. 
After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give to the tailback. Knocked down at the 31 after a gain of five. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. It's first and ten from the 31. Trying to get the corner. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Let him bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's got his man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a great job. You know third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Right back to the well. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they'd love to convert this third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. The returner will field it and bring it back. 
And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute there. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep plowing it on until they find an answer. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Got his man quickly. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Used to play fake. Now to throw. It's complete on the right side. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back to back. The play action fake. Throws to the tight end. It's complete. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative. Or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all of the yard and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. This offense has done a good job on this drive, taking time off the clock as they come up on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I tell you what, as that ball starts to get towards the sideline when they're running these option plays, man, those outside players become more pivotal. My corners have to be able to tackle. My secondary is going to be much more involved and getting the quarterback to the ground. Nice job by the secondary, by this defense. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great and the play went nowhere they'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive and if they can make this and turn it into a three score game they'll have this one all but locked up smashes it between the uprights and that will extend their lead even further They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. 
The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Working that left side. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. To throw, it's Shapen. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Yeah, and I love that the QB understood, I'm going to put some stank on this. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can quickly, right when he's breaking out of that curl. Nice job getting it to him quick so he could get a first down. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. Has the 20. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Yeah, and that just might do it. Man, offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception. Takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They're about to kick it away and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. Wants to throw. It's shaping. Coming after it. Makes his connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. And the quarterback is snowed under. And this defense has done such a great job. Another sack on the day. They forced an interception. They've been flying all over the field playing great defense. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Still in the pocket and fires over the middle. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. 
And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give and tick, 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 tick. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. the RPO complete. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you could play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. They move the tight end all over. Run in the red zone. It's Hayden. And into the end zone. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. There's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right. Everyone's going to have to have a real hard look at themselves, I think, this week after watching the film and in practice. And they've just got to take accountability. They have to understand man for man in this offense, they've got to do a better job next time they're on the field. Ripped off a chunk on the opening play of this drive. Now it's first down from the 48. Scanning the field, it's Shapen. Gets it out quickly. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead, it's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. You got to throw first downs. You got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. He wants to take the top off. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game today. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. 
And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it.